Yes, it's recording. Did you, did, you, did you know that you pronounced three like free? Yeah, that's, <laughs> is that not how you're supposed to? <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no you're, you're doing great. You're doing it's great. fine. Doesn't Thank matter. you. Wait, free and free. Oh my god. Free. <laughs> free. Yeah, fr free the anime. The, the anime by Kyoto Animation. Fucking hell. God, bullying me already. All right. Um. It hasn't even started. This actually hasn't even started. Crazy. I just, I, I mean, I just noticed that he said free instead of three, and it was driving me crazy. Anyway, um, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to this video that I don't know what channel it's going on. I'm Russ. I suck at intros, but um, yeah, we're gonna be talking about anime today. I would have already clicked off, Russell. I would have clicked the X button and gone to the next shitty anime you Yeah, <laughs> but then you sort of spoke intro. and now people are staying, so it's fine. And I think we... Literally nobody remembers me, but I okay. I think they do. That was a guy in Kevin's comments section who remembered you. I don't know who So I there's at least someone out there. <laughs> 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 That's very oh, true. Oh my god. Welcome to the, welcome to the Anime Russ podcast. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Anyway, um, right, so there's a bit of a problem because we've all seen different anime, so we're just gonna... I've watched guess, them all! You guys out. are fucking bitches, and you're like, oh, I watched one anime. Oh, I'm so tired, I'm gonna go to bed. Like, fucking holy shit. What? It's been, there's a whole season of anime, and you guys have watched one show. What, what, yeah, what's I'm that? Really actually, actually, that is a lie. I watched the... A little bit of the ghost horror thing Miyoko, show. Miyako-chan. Miyako-chan. Mir yeah. yeah, something like that. That one. Yeah. That's a, yeah why'd you, only, watch, why'd you only watch a little bit of it? It's fucking great. I, I'm having this problem recently where I just can't sit for an episode by myself. I don't know Russell, why. Have you tried oh going God. to the no. doctor? <laughs> have you tried going to the doctor and getting some Ritalin prescribed? Because <laughs> I, I, I think that's a bigger issue. <laughs> No, okay, what I mean is I just keep getting interrupted. It's less me. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we'll go with that. Anyway. I'll believe um, your lie. Yeah, that was an interesting one though, right, Glenn? Because it, like, sets up to be spooky, but then it's not, like, it. it's like, um, it's not really that spooky. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> Um, <laughs> it's spooky, but not spooky. What I, I, get what you're say, I get, I get what, was, you're, I get what you're saying. It's a pretty good show, from what I've seen. Um, <laughs> Did you watch three minutes of it? <laughs> mostly because it's funny. It's about, it's about it. Although saying that it wasn't, it wasn't actually. That I've actually, funny, I've actually read the know. manga. No, it's funny. Miyako Chan's really funny. The manga is a lot funnier. The anime is lesser. I'd say I like the anime. The anime is doing it a bit differently. I like what it's doing. Uh, but the manga, and uh, presumably the anime, is gonna be, it's kind of anti-drama, because there is actually, surprisingly, an arc to it. Like, the characters mm. that you see, like, in, in, in the, the background there was a certain character, there's actually an arc to it, it's not just episode by episode. There's an arc and an actual sort of plot to it, even though it kind of ends up going more for the anti-drama comedy route, but it's really fucking good for that. It builds up into yeah. a very satisfying resolution, which is not what you'd expect if you've seen that show, which you should watch that show if you haven't. Kevin, you should watch that show. It is good. First episode's out right now. Second episode coming soon. It's and the ghost one. Honestly, yeah, it's well, the ghost. This, it's this spooky, season... but not spooky, as Russ put it. <laughs> 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 no, yeah, this season, I've only, like, I'm only interested in like maybe like three shows that I've seen or like yeah, that I want reasonable. to see. So I'm like... What are those three? What are those three? Uh, the first, yeah, first one's Komi, Komi San. Komi San, yeah. Uh, eighty six seconds. Did you see? You know? Did you see? Did you see the? Do you know about the artist who draws Komi San getting like fucked by horses? You know what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, I yes, I know, I know what you're talking <laughs> going, about. I feel like I I might have told you about this already. Yes, yes, I know the artist who like <laughs> keeps drawing. He he keeps very... drawing Komi San in really fucked up situations, but that's because he fucking he's pissed off because he really likes Komi San, right? As you should, because Komi-san's really good at first, but <laughs> it gets worse over time, as all good things always do, and he fucking, he, all, he, he has such overly detailed art, and all of a sudden he just started drawing, like, the main character dude plus Komi-san just 
NTR, horse cock, pig <laughs> cock, all types of cock. It's so fucking funny. I wish I had the talent and the efforts put into drawing so that whenever I got pissed off at an anime or manga I didn't like, I could just draw all the characters in the worst possible shit because I love that man. That's a very interesting way to protest. I have to admit, it's, is it's, he yeah. he's protest? super popular. Is that, is because that, is he, that the reason he, why he's actually drawing? I mean, to, he's to he's, into, he's into it as well. He's into it as well. But it is it is in protest, one hundred percent. He's pissed off because later on the lot, I don't even know if the anime will get to her. Another character is introduced, which kind of makes the love triangle a bit off and weird. And you know, Komi-san's more about friendship than it is romance, at least at first. But it does kind of lead into romantic endeavors. And it's all right, but then it introduces these other fucking bitches, and the it, it, and I just imagine the fucking passion of anger in this fucking Twitter artist is unfathomable. I don't think I could be as mad as this man is at anything. But Komi Sad itself is a pretty fun manga. The anime, you know, hasn't really come out. Well, I mean, technically it has, but it was like the first seven minutes or something, and it was good. It was a really, it's a really good adaptation Wait, to be honest. What do you mean? The only the first seven minutes came out. It was like leaked or something because of a pre-screening. I don't know. I just oh, I can only so it's, find it's the not first actually out then. What the fuck is Twitter it, on it, about it, then? It, it, I think I think it aired on the seventh. I'm not sure. All I know is when I watched it like a week ago, I saw the first seven minutes, and it was good. It was good. What was the second show? You said eighty six. Uh, eighty six second season. I know you're not into that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I like eighty six. I like eighty six. I just don't find it that interesting to talk about. Which drives me away from it. Yeah, I feel like 86 is like... Yeah, hasn't... It's like a... Uh, not not like... It is a mecha show that like... I haven't been a... F not been a fan of... I haven't seen a mecha show that I've been like really invested in since like... From top of my head, I'm gonna say like... I don't know. Co Code Geass or something. Which like so long ago. That's a long time. Yeah. That's I mean, long time. Code Geass was... <laughs> Code Geass nah, is, geni is genius in the way that it convinced people it was a smart show despite not being one. But that was yeah, it's, but that's, it was that's entertaining why it was as smart. Fun. It no, was that's so why it was smart. That's why it was smart. I'm not saying it wasn't smart. I'm saying it's smart for the reasons that everyone, at least back then, I feel like most people know now, at least back then thought it was smart for. Because it's like, you yeah, don't look at like old ass reviews of Code Geass. Uh, and oh, yeah. Like 10 no, 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 no. And, and, they, and, they, and they call it this like this literary genius like that sort of like a whole lot of uh flowery prose bullshit you know no I'm no, no yeah it's, it's the uh, it's literally that meme of i'm 14 and this is deep code kiosk <laughs> yeah kind of like <laughs> code kiosk is fucking great though don't like do not take this as me shit talking it because i love code i know kiosk. it's 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 yeah it's very entertaining show that, but that it's just beautifully stupid man <clears throat> Russ, were you saying something about 86 before Kevin cut you off? I, I do want to mention something about 86, because I'm a bit confused in the direction it's heading. Because I, I yeah. think, Kevin, this more applies to you because Glenn hasn't seen the second season. But do you not think the way it's... I've read it. I've read it. Though. Oh, you've read it. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, do you not think it's kind of gonna... With the, uh, the 86ers, or the group of the 86ers that are now... In the in the new country, in the yeah. new country, which is like part of or like broken off from the enemies that they were fighting, I think. Oh yeah, that yeah that part was a bit confusing. It, it, it was is like it is slightly confusing, yeah. Um, because okay, the first season right of A six, it's just you you just learn about this world where all the what what were the like the white hair people called? I I don't know. I'm just gonna call them the the Aryans, right? The KKK. I, no, don't, you can't say that. But um, I did. <laughs> the Aryans, they they use A sixes, which is like anyone who doesn't have white hair, to fight their own wars, and then they say it's against a Legion, who they think is yeah. A very, um, it's a very, it's a very, very. You wouldn't believe it, Kevin, but it's very subtly about racism. Very <laughs> about <you won't> propaganda, <laughs> Nazi propaganda. I am unbelievably subtle. <laughs> but no, you're led go to on, believe like on. Legion is like just r robotic, like as itself. Like the enemy is like not human they and, are like, they are the technically field, human though because they're the brains of people but i get it, what you mean it's yeah. so weird how it's explained <laughs> they're like mech they're like headless people in mechas driving them and then when you get captured your brain goes into like they capture your brain and you become a part of their like hive mind of a mecha it's really weird and then the yeah, second season hot. happens <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah where now the character now the characters who you thought were dead are like in a different country and that country is kind of like taking over legion which, yes yeah 
I have no idea where it's going anymore. I just wonder if in this season they'll link up with Lena again. Like, or if we're going to be we're talking like another season before that even happens where Lena, because Lena's sort of now commander of a new group of 86ers. And I, I don't think that, I don't, I want, like, it's going to be very hard to care about them when we've already had, well, they've already established, you know, the group of 86ers that we want to care about. So at what point are they going to sort of meet, you know, meet again? Is it going to be, are they going to actually get put, are they going to start fighting for this other empire? And also, speaking of that, is the empire that they're, that they've just found home in, the, the new country, are they also fighting the, fuck, what was the, what's the, the Aryan race? Or are they, <laughs> the, like, um, like, it, it, it's okay, it, that's a good enough substitute for them, it's alright. There's, there's a lot of confusing stuff on with 86, and on top of that, there's like this new lolly character. That's why I thought that's Glenn, would, that's why I thought Glenn would be more, like, on board, I guess, yeah. Um, I am a cunny connoisseur. Yeah, and there's just, I don't know, I don't know how they're gonna, where the season's no, gonna right, go. Right. D- didn't you say, oh, no, no, not didn't you say, didn't they say in, in like the first episode of that, where like that that new guy, you know, who who looks like, uh, like the Chad, like the Chad, like Professor Oak, right? <laughs> this, Professor this guy Oak. goes into, <laughs> no, he, 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 no, he looks like a Chad, right? He, he goes into, like, the medical lab, and he's like, oh, you guys are the first foreigners ever in this country. I'm like, what? Yeah. Who have you been fighting then? So I'm, like, really confused as to, like, what, where even they are anymore. I know. And, like, exactly how far away are they from the Aryans? There's so much to fucking process going into this new season. And, but it was a good episode, that, that first episode, because I did like how they showed the progression of them slowly, well, they they didn't they didn't really go that in depth, but how they've how they've only known war, and then there was this really good scene where they were driving in the car and they were like seeing them protest for their livelihood, like they were protesting to keep the eighty sixers alive. It it just felt like very. It was nice to see them get some attention and some warmth when all they've known is to fucking just fight mechs. You know, it's nice to see that payoff. But yeah, that besides I mean, yeah, that, the, the actual best part of the show is about like Lena's conflict with her her nation that is you know a, a fascist country and her trying to take it down from the inside using their own rules. But yeah. I, I don't know at what point Lena's going to realize that she actually can't do anything without killing people. Like she's trying mm. to play by the rules, kind of like you know Suzaku Code Geass, where it's like I'm going to take down the empire from the inside. But then, um, God, I you can't really do anything if you don't, you know, if you don't get your hands dirty. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do, I do think Lena's character is also a lot more badass in this season. Like she's just, you know, she dyed up her hair red. Well, not all of her hair, but like I, a strand of her hair. I red. mean, it's, it's it's a strip. I wonder what's that meant to symbolize? You know, the red <laughs> blood spill. Ha ha! I'm smart and I'm fourteen. But but you know like when she see, was t- I see I don't I don't think direct symbolism that is apparent is particularly bad though I don't think no no like... I'm only memeing that that's that's not bad right <laughs> no I know a lot it's, of people it, a lot of people for, don't for, even for, know for, what that would even mean I mean certainly we're gonna see a lot of YouTube videos about eighty six video essays as they're called nowadays the popular thing on anime <laughs> YouTube where I'm sure there'll be a lot of kids really uh or maybe not kids probably adults jerking off uh, how deep it is that that was a thing and it's like it is good it is good to have things like that but it's definitely it's not good but at the same time it's like i hate making fun of that stuff hmm yeah just because it's like it, not every little bit of symbolism and stuff uh it, it doesn't always have to be subtle you know because uh, 86 is the opposite of su- the opposite of subtle when it comes to fucking anything which is why i kind of think it's all right because it doesn't really Oh god, it's something that's fucking Halloween time and it's turned like a skeleton man downstairs. I don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my mom gets started really early on the fucking decorations. Uh, it's probably going to be in my mic like crazy. Hopefully not. Yeah, but, uh, 86, like, I, I don't really have, I don't find it that interesting to talk about, sadly, but I do think it's a pretty decent show and a better novel. But it does have a very pitch perfect combination of kind of decently insightful character work mixed with true to life decent understanding of psychology 
I use the word decent too much there. People aren't going to believe me when I say I like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's not much more to say about 86, really, especially the second until, season, because it's... Yeah, I mean, until it's you, more comes out. Yeah. Um, I guess we could... What was the third show? It was Blue Period, but you told me not to watch that. <laughs> yeah, you go to laugh. Kevin, let's go back in time in your mind where I said not to watch it. Because in my mind, I 100% did tell you not to watch it. You, yeah, you did. You told me not to watch it. I was like, what's Blue Period about? Oh, no. Okay, if we rewind, I'm looking at the seasonal chart. I see Blue Period. To me, it looks like a shonen. That's what I'm... from. Just from the cover alone, it looks like a shonen. Yeah. So I was like, I just like brushed past it. And then you told me it's not actually a shonen. It's about like a... Um, or is it uh, a slice of or drama about a guy who draws? Uh, who, who, or just, is it drawing or just draws art? It's painting, drawing, art, basically. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he has a passion for art, right? And then I, I'm guessing that his passion for art starts growing of, uh, over time, and then he starts well, like actually having passion. It's even though I told you not to watch it, I changed my mind. <laughs> 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 Which is why today I completely forgot that I told you not to watch it and then joined the call and was like, oh, you should watch Blue Period. And then uh, I was like, no way you just did that. <laughs> well, because the thing this is, was... okay, I realized something. I thought that I had read the manga and didn't like it, which is why I told you not to watch it, but... Turns out I was thinking of something else. I don't know what I was thinking of. So Elsa? I don't know. I read a lot of stuff. I, I'm a I'm a busy guy. I consume a lot of media. I jerk off to a lot of cunny. I jerk off to a lot of big booba bitches. I, I read a lot of light novels, visual novels, arrow game, manga, jerk off to anime. I do it all. So I'm sorry that you, I got you, slightly confused. You, conf in the you confused Blue Period with something else that was bad. I, I, I consumed it with probably a doujin that had period in its name. Like, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I didn't fucking nut to that one, but uh, it's actually good. It especially works for me because uh, it's about a dude who's kind of a delinquent. Not really. He's kind of an honor student, but you know he kind of lives a more delinquent lifestyle because he doesn't really have any true passion in his life. Oops, just knocked my phone down. Uh, and it really hits hard for me because you know I was decent. I was good in school. You you know the kind of pointless system that schools craft to make you think you're smart. And Ooh, let's go. You get decent at that system, but you don't actually get decent at reality, at real life. It's kind of about that, and he adopts and kind of leans into art, and he decides that's what he's passionate about. His heart goes doki-doki, and he's like, this is it. And it's been a long time since I felt that. Uh, but as also an honor student who is very much a failure outside of the systems of school, I really fucking related to it. And I, it was good. It was genuinely good outside of that. It... I cried. I didn't think... I, I cry to a lot of stuff, though, so I, I hate when people use crying as some sort of measure of goodness, because it's definitely not there. Because I, I cry at everything, but I fucking cried. <laughs> and... It hit me different. And I do think it's actually genuinely good, even if you don't particularly re relate to the main character, because to some degree, it's enough of a framing that you can frame it into so many different types of things, which is probably why I liked it so much. It's good. I mean, this I'm should, sorry this, that I. This, yeah, this just sounds like a show that I would like because it's about it, like a, <laughs> literally a psychological I'm sorry that I. I'm sorry drama. that I jerk off so much. I confused it with the doge, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So yeah, I guess I will actually watch this. Besides that, you should watch. I told you a minute ago. I told you to watch DZ. What? D's nuts. <laughs> No, yeah, I was like, that's not it. I told you, I told you to watch Sakyagon, which also sounds like a fucking D's nuts joke. Uh, I don't think many people watch it. Did you ever watch Suka Suka? Either of you? Yeah, I think you did. Right? Yes, we, we did. did. We saw it together. Yeah, Suka, yeah. Suka, Suka Suka Suka's fucking great. Suka Suka's fucking great. And novels are great, so it already had the material there. But I feel like it was really elevated by the director. Uh, what's his fucking name? Junei Iwato, something like that. I'm probably completely wrong on this, but. He's uh, become very quickly a favorite director of mine. He hasn't done very much, but he's really rose the past like five years or so, especially with uh, Suka Suka. Um, Dude, when was Suka Suka? That was like 2017 or 16. That was 2016, I, like. I believe. Oh That's my god, that was five ago. years yeah. ago. Holy yeah, shit. I wanna yeah, I want to kill myself. Um, so, Suka Suka, extremely good. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it to anyone listening. Uh, 
It was also right. called. It's it. called N World. It's it's really good. Don't listen to him. It was called N World. Is that how they translated it to English? I can't fucking remember. It's a really long no, Japanese. It, title. No, it's it's like really long. It's that, something like yeah. They translate the world is coming. As well. the, the the world is coming to an end. Please, will, will you are, are you coming? Will you yeah. save yeah. me? Something yeah. like that. Which honestly, it, that that is the literal translation, and that is the actual translate. Like that is actually the title of it, but like they shortened it, of course, because <laughs> who the fuck has time for that? Uh, but Sakugan is an original. Uh, by this director plus honestly i haven't looked at who wrote it yet because i only watched it the other day because i was interested because of the director but i didn't actually look at it besides that i've been a bit lazy uh with names but sakigan is about uh, it's kind of like similar and to made in abyss when it comes to the setting not in the content really but uh it's a little girl and her dad and a little girl wants to venture out into the labyrinth which is basically this unfounded world like she wants to be fucking christopher columbus type shit even though well i i assume she doesn't want to kill native americans like he did but let's not talk about that maybe she does i don't know she could be racist who knows i haven't watched this it's only been one episode <laughs> why does this but sound like made in abyss it does sound like made in abyss but... it, i don't want to say it's like made in abyss because the content really isn't it but it, it does have similarities the, pre- the premise it. sounds like it yeah, the Definitely. premise. I don't know if you went on Mal and looked at the synopsis, but yeah, it's very, it's it is very similar in a lot of ways, I think. Uh, but it is definitely different, and it's fucking good. I got a Discord call. I have to so did I. close now. Yeah. So let's you close gotta, that. You're gonna cancel that. <laughs> okay, Saki Gun's fucking good, and it sounds like a D's nuts joke. So you can recommend it to your friends by saying D's nuts, probably. Which is what you did. That's the other one so, I recommend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, honestly, four shows right there. Honestly, besides that, I don't need any the, more shows than that. Like, there's there's the Naoka Yamada show that hasn't aired yet. She left. She left Kyoani. Yes, we know. She left. She left Kyoani. Wait, that hasn't. Uh, good that for hasn't her. Sw- but people uh, have talked about that airs, as well. I swear. I'm wait, did it air? Fuck. I, I, I swear I, it has. I, it might have been. A, it might have been a pre-screening. I'm unsure. I, I I should watch it if it has. Uh, I thought. Oh, I see. September 16th. I thought it was October 16th that it aired. Yeah, I, I, I was gonna, yeah. I was gonna say it's been out for a I while actually. Heard. Yeah. It's interesting that she left. I think it's honestly for the best for her. I mean, it makes grow. sense why she left, right? Well, you just imagine like why well, the, you would stay working probably, at a place where it's all bad yeah. memory. Well, not all bad memories. There's probably like, there's there's probably a lot of pain w- within the you know her upbringing. There's probably a lot of happy memories, a lot of great things, and but after the tragedy that happened, I don't really blame her. And also, I think leaving and going to Science Saru and perhaps to other places as well and expanding herself and putting herself out there, she's gonna grow into even a better director even better than she already is yeah she every 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 artiste has room to grow even naoko yamada were you trying to say something before though russ um no i was just gonna move on to a new show uh that we yeah, could talk ahead. about although we did talk about i did talk about this with kevin before but it's the only thing the only other thing that i want to talk about badly yeah go f- it's go for aquatope it. because i cannot get enough of that show um it's recently had like a time skip where now instead sure of love those yeah and it, it was a bit of an interesting one because um well, it was about four months and um it kind of completely changed the direction of the show because everyone thought or i guess like the whole goal was to save Gamma Gamma Aquarium. Now that's not the goal anymore. Uh, I don't care. I don't know how much Glenn wants me to. Uh, I'll do. You two talk. You two. You two talk about it. I don't give a fuck. Go yeah. Ahead, go ahead. So, the the welcome. thing that gets me so much about Aquatope is how is Fuka and Kukuru's connection. But it's it's kind of like. It's kind of that Kukuru. Kukuru. Yeah, is that not how you say it? Kukuru. Is that, is it, Kukuru. Is that how it's pronounced? Kukuru. I don't yeah, know. Her I, didn't name watch is Kukuru. I didn't watch enough of the show. It's just a really fucking funny name. Kukuru. <laughs> it's a nice name, Kukuru. <laughs> I just I just thought she I just thought you were mispronouncing Kokoro or something. No, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's definitely Kukuru. And yeah, Kukuru is great actually, yeah. Um but the the connection that these two share is just it's like the best they're the best of like pals. And it's uh, 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 no, take that back. They're not pals. They're gay. All right. Yeah, it's they're, canon. They're, they're I don't gay. care what anyone says. They're gay. They're, they're actually. Gay. But the the fact is how they <laughs> how they rely 
I've, I, I've, it's few shows where there's like these, the bond that where two characters rely on each other as, as powerful and as, as warming to watch as Aquatope for me anyway. I, I just, the, the airport scene is one that sticks out in my mind, Kevin, if you can, re- of course you can recall that because it was bloody yeah, amazing. Course. But the whole, that whole, like, oh, I don't, uh, oh, fuck, I'm forgetting what they said. But it was something along the lines of, uh, what them wanting to chase their dreams because Fuka's yeah, dream but, was but already I'll, gone. I'll, I'll wait. I'll yeah, but it, yeah, it was yeah. So it was basically that. In essence, there was a bit more to it than that, if I recall. But that is in essence what it is. But anyway, it's the oh, just Aquatope is so good. I love the um, the aquatic theme that runs through it as well because I love the sea. I've always wanted to live by the sea. I don't know about you guys. Well, well Ke- Kevin sea, literally man. does live by the sea, kind of. So, kind of. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Of, I'm a big fan but- of seamen as well. <laughs> see what's goddamn it. Fuck, you know. Um, no, but no, yeah. Aquatope is for me now that like more than half of the show is aired. I can finally contextualize my thoughts of what I think because like at the start, it does. It, it is a very slow show because it's it's mostly a slice of life, and like the dramatic elements aren't even there until you get like almost halfway, mm. and. What the show does really well is basically establish not the, just the connection between like Kukuru and uh, Fuka, the characters, but K- Kukuru has like a personal connection, a deep personal connection with the aquarium itself because it was a part of um, her parents. Uh, uh, just uh, yeah, a part her of her memory parents, of her, her parents. parents. I, yeah. yeah, because her parents are no longer here, and she has to stay with her grandparents, and so like the only connection she the yeah, the only living connection she has between her actual parents is that aquarium that where she was raised. And so throughout, like, the first half of the show, it's just about her, like, wanting the aquarium to survive because it's basically, it, like, parallels that, like, if this aquarium is gone, like, it would be the same as her, her the memory of her parents disappearing. Mm. And so there's this, like, yeah, we, we watched that, like, the last, like, three episodes of the second, of the first half for us. Yeah. And like the part where like the aquarium's actually like getting destroyed by like this hurricane is it was actually like really painful to watch because Kukuru like Oh it was. Yeah. She has so much passion and love for this aquarium and then like she just like is getting sh- for lack of better words getting shit on by like b- the windows breaking the pipelines bursting. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's that- just falling apart and like she almost gives up entirely. That was that was definitely a moment a highlight of the series. Um because it just it hits so hard, you know. Seeing someone lose everything, for a lack of a better term, is and then but then having uh, Fuka there and that 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 um that realizing that you have to keep living, you know, you have to keep you have to keep going despite these things that happen. I think that's where the you know learning to le- learning to rely on others the the bo- the the learning to rely on others is really something that sticks out with Aquatope for me is how yeah, a lot of the yeah the characters have like really genuine connection with each other and how they all are always supportive of their dreams or everyone's dreams no matter what yeah. because some is yeah they they talk about this Fuka and um Kukuru talk about this aspect of like chasing dreams where Fuka's dream was to become an idol at this beginning but she was like not really fired but like she gave up her dream to become an idol because her Kohai wanted to be wanted to star in this role and then she didn't get it yeah and so like her dream essentially was uh cast away while Kukuru's dream of like still managing an aquarium is still possible yeah it's actually funny that you bring that up because that does reminded me another aspect of this second half that I, I think I'm gonna actually really enjoy because Kukuru basically um gets placed in Tinga Ting Tingahara, Tingara. Tingara, Tingara, in the marketing department, despite wanting to be, you know, a like an aquarium. Hands on with the yeah. Uh, hands on with hands the animals. Hands on with the uh, the mammals. Yeah. yeah, and like working with the fish and stuff. And that's kind of like that hit me in particular because I most of my roles have been in marketing, which I don't hate. Uh, I'm not like Kukra. I don't flat out hate marketing. But I long for something a bit more creative in my work. I want to be, you know, making graphics and that type of stuff, which isn't 
which isn't traditional mm-hmm. hands-on marketing. Hands-on marketing is basically get your company sales is the end goal of marketing. And, you know, um, to see... And I, I, I will... I definitely think I'm going to connect with Kukuru even more to have that sort of employment experience of having to do the job. Not that you hate, per se. You're, you're doing it because you want something at the end of it that you love. And that conflict there is something that I find you know, quite cool about Aquatope. <laughs> but yeah. I, yeah, no, I think a lot of people can relate to like the second half of Aquatope where, yeah, she, Kukuru is working a job that she doesn't necessarily want to do, but has to, because in order for her to progress into like a, um, a higher position, then she just has to like get through with it. Yeah. But it's at that point, like at what expense do you go through like your manager, like almost abusing you calling you like plankton, plankton. things to like <laughs> to like stand like working there almost and that's a lot, like less, a lot of in real life where people just have to work in a shitty place shitty work environment just because like they, they have to it's like how they how they live yeah so, yeah <sighs> the faults of society yeah yeah the biggest lie but that's where Akotop is right now and i mean i doubt it's just about <laughs> Uh, Kukuru just going to learn how to manage uh, PR in this big aquarium. I, I feel like there's got to be something more to it than just this. Yeah, and I'm also wondering at what point they're going to bring in the small magic being or entity. You know, the one with the orange hair. No, but... I, I think that's just like a well, metaphor, so, right? So I don't, he's never real. So, I don't think he's going to be well, ever he, he, real. No, he is real in some sense. Okay, maybe he's, uh... not, he's like he's like he's a concept that could be I don't know. He's he's a concept that is there, but also not there at the same time because he, they they can't see him. So I guess he's not real. Chris, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird how desperately you want this little thing to be real. Well, no, boy, are, you real? <laughs> you good? are you good? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just worried well, about. No, I just found it kind of weird that he's so prominent, and I, I wonder what he's what he's doing. Like, is he was the one that was causing the, no, no. like the the no the no memories? no no way. He's no, got no, no there's way, gotta no be way. something. There's like no that, way. Kevin. I'm telling I'm calling it now. He's gonna he's right, gonna you're, you're least... saying that. I'm just saying that like I think that's just purely just in a mer- metaphorical sense and also like the aquarium's like illusions that they always like talk about. I think that's also like a metaphorical sense where like you're you're longing for something that you've lost nah, or you but don't it's, have. It's happened to too many people. It can't just like it's it's definitely some sort of magical element in my mind. It can't just it can't just happen to like it even happened to the the guy when he was like struggling to help um Kukuru. I forget the guy's name because who really cares about the guys? But um Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know. I mean I say that, but the actual supporting cast is pretty great in Aquatope as well. Like Udon Chan. That's a pretty great name. Like Udon. Yeah, I got a que- I got a question. It's great that you both really are enjoying Aquatope and you like it and it's great that it's drove this sort of discussion between you two and I will watch it I will I mean I watched the first maybe I only watched the first episode <laughs> I watched the first episode and I want to I want you two to take a guess at why I immediately because you know me I always finish everything I rarely drop I, I haven't dropped anything ever I always finish it I always go back to it but I rarely stop watching something just like even for a little bit like what makes you what makes you think I, why I stopped watching Aquatope immediately? Um, it's a lot I more remember. superficial. Don't try to think too deep about it. It's pretty superficial. I mean, I can remember what you said before, which is you saying you got bored with it, but that's quite vague. So if I'm gonna be a bit more specific, I'm guessing they're just maybe wrong, Kevin. Okay. <laughs> if you were what? thinking that hard about it, you're wrong, Kevin. Why do I hate it? I, why was I, I so? Why was I so furious that I dropped the show immediately? I didn't drop it. Why, why, why did I stop? Episode watching? one. They, the setting is Okinawa. Literally, no character had a fucking Kanzai Ben accent. What the fuck? I don't know what that is, but I guess they have an accent. They, they t- it takes place in Okinawa, and none of them had a Kanzai Ben accent. Like fucking why? <laughs> why would you do this? Every like most of that fucking character, the supporting cast, the main cast, they were all Okinawan mostly, right? Where the fuck is the accent? 
Doesn't the doesn't the grandfather have a bit of an accent though? Fuck him. <laughs> I'm talking about the characters that matter. I, I just he did, and I don't. If I recall, he did not have a Kanzai Ben accent. I, he I just sounded remember. distinctly different to me than the rest. What of the even cast. is a Kanzai Ben accent? You, like, you give me an example to, of you, a can, character. Can we, can we get an impression? You, 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 you want me to give you an impression? Of, I don't <laughs> no, think I can no, do a Kanzai want, Ben. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I, I want uh, give me give me a character, another character that I know. A, a character that you would know. Yeah. Um, fucking that you. You know, I don't even Lucky know Star? any anime that's set in Okinawa. <laughs> have you watched Lucky Star? Ton of, there's tons of characters that have come to Venex. Have you watched Lucky Star? No, but I mean, I've seen a lot of Fuck. clips of Lucky Star, definitely. It's like the blonde teacher in Lucky Star, Nanako. Oh, not or, the teacher. Uh, I don't even know the girl. Azumaga Dayo, the Ayum, Ayumu? Was that her name? There's a ton of characters you probably don't realize they have the accent. I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't think I would know. If I'm Japanese, trying really hard. To, I'm trying to think of a character. I'm trying other. to think of a character you know. There's not that many prominent characters that have Kanzai Kanzai Ben, but fucking listen. It, 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 I'm fucking furious about. It. I'm still mad about it. Thinking about it. So how many anime no, take place in fine. Okinawa? And they just fucking lot. they ruined it. They ruined it. It's fine. They don't have the accent, but they have like the atmosphere, the tone, the seaside. I don't give. Seaside. I don't care. <laughs> what's the point of, what's the point if the girls don't have the cute accent they're gay though it's, so it's i mean they should have something. the cute accent and be gay nah you can only have one kind yeah, of something else that made me really mad is muv love alternative i fucking love muv love and they what about gave it an, they gave it a fucking other anime i don't know why this is you know happening. what you know what glenn i've actually seen the like muv love anime that was like you, in 2012 seen, or something seen, i know you've you've seen total eclipse which is not muv love it, i mean it is but it's not <laughs> muv love i don't know why i watched that it was, i don't know I, this is the third time they've put me they put like one of my favorite things through the fucking rainer and i have to suffer for it i have to wake up every day and be like I have to, my eyes bolt open, and I'm like, fucking the Muvla of anime exist. And now there's another one. I have to think about this one, and I have to watch it because it's Muvla of. And the yeah, first I episode. I hear people was say, like, whoever played is the vision novel, right? People say, I like, mean, the actual vision novel was really good. And then, like, all, all, why is all the anime, awesome. like, so bad? Muvla of's. I mean, this is just like most visual novel adaptations, but at the same time, how many motherfuckers do you hear say that all the time? How many times do you hear me say that where I'm like, Oh, novel's better. Visual novel's better. Like, I'm fucking... I, it gets exhausting hearing it. Muv Love is the one time where I'm like, this is unfair. My life did not deserve this. <laughs> they they have fucking killed me enough. Well, the anime's pretty don't, good. Visual was better, though. Don't, <laughs> I, I, don't watch the Muv Love anime. I just, I just remembered it existed because I was mad. Is oh, that yeah, this you, season? You, uh, what is that? Yes, it is this. Only the first oh. episode's out. It's, fuck, <laughs> it's fucking. It's fucking terrible. Don't watch it. You wouldn't even understand what's happening. The first episode's fucking. Dude, stupid. I watched the 2012 one. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> um, you, you remember Yuki Yuna? You remember like ten? I years never watched ago. Yuki. I never watched Yuki. You Yuna. didn't watch Yuki Yuna. No, Yuki I didn't Yuna's watch it. Fucking, Russ, you watched Yuki Yuna. Um, I maybe. <laughs> I think God, I did. I yeah. Fuck, God, I fucking hate you. Which well, one's Yuki Yuna? It's Yuki magical the one, girls. It's, it's, an, it's, yeah. it's another one of those that people were like, oh, it ripped off Madoka, even though it wasn't physically possible within the time span to fucking copy Madoka, and it was in pre-production before that. It was, uh, what was the fucking English? Yuki Yuna is a hero. I, I know the name. No, I, I don't remember. No, I haven't seen that. But that's another season, and... Uh, Yuki Yuna just gets better and better. Wait, just now? I don't, or it, is... Yeah, it's airing right now. Barely anyone's watching it because it's a third season, but it's like a prequel type sequel type weird thing because Yuki Yuna has the fucking big brain fucking lore going on, but it's really good. <laughs> I highly recommend Yuki Yuna. Um, I'm not going to bother talking about it in that case since you guys haven't seen it, obviously. Yeah, we don't know but what that is. But it's fucking great. <laughs> I feel like, at the very least, you should know Yuki Yuna. What are uh, fucking anime YouTubers, bro? They know nothing about anime. How's it going? Uh, oh, uh, welcome. Did you not know this? Anime YouTubers don't know anything about anime. We just talk. Kevin, we just <laughs> we just talk you're about. You're my it. best. You're my best friend. Kill yourself. Um, you haven't even watched Mushoku Tensei yet. No, I haven't. Why? I fuck. I fucking. Everyone I watches that. that, so I don't. I don't need to watch it. It's. <sighs> <laughs> the, thing is, the people, the thing is, the, the I I get that, but it's not like it's Hero Academia or some other garbage. It's Mushoku Tensei. I was jerking off Mushoku Tensei like five years ago on Twitter. <laughs> well, you think you'd remember? It hurts me. You you know Death Note? Yeah. What about Death Note? 
There's another um the the author he has a series he has an anime adaptation of his other work this season. Oh, what's th- wait? What's that? Platinum End. Yeah, I, I, I believe we're gonna. I heard about that, Kevin. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know that was about. That you two should watch. It. You two should watch it together. It'd probably be fun. It's. I think it's fun to watch with other people. I don't think it's that good of a series, and I don't think it'll be as good as Death Note was. Even though Death Note is in the same vein as our Code Geass conversation earlier, where slightly better it's, though. Death it's, Note actually. It's, it's just beautifully stupid, but stupidly smart. Uh, this is kind of not really down that line. Did you ever watch Baku Man? Actually. Either of you? Buck the other no. Okay, that was, it was written. It was really good as well. It was written by the Death Note author, and it was just about their trials and tribulations and stuff throughout the manga industry. It was really good. Um, but Platinum Endu is also. <laughs> I think it's interesting to talk about at least. So you should watch it because I think it'd be fun to shit post about with my mouth to you two. Yeah, we should definitely try and watch more stuff for next time. If you two should try and watch time. fucking anime, considering this is an anime podcast, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and an anime podcast for anime YouTubers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, well, you're, you're not a YouTuber, and I'm a CS:GO better. That's what I am. <laughs> <laughs> actually, uh, an anime you said YouTuber. that you said earlier that you did watch um Takto P Destiny, right? No, no, no. I no. heard of Takto P. Oh, oh you heard of it. It's 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 really good, actually. It's really good. I was shocked how good it was. I don't know if it'll hold up, but it was really it knew what it was about and it was fucking funny which is not what I, that is not an adjective i thought i would say when i saw that show because i thought it was just gonna be fucking stupid <laughs> but it, it is kind of fucking stupid but it's very good stupid yeah i think for now then it's like the newer shows i'm gonna watch is like okay i'll <laughs> putting blue period back on the list <laughs> yeah and then probably adding I'll send like you, I'll one, send you the doujin one that I can, more I, 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 that i did i thought was blue period <laughs> <laughs> and then probably one more other show that's like i don't you know watch what like sakugan that. maybe no nah, you should no, watch Sakugan. i, Sok- I you mean watch it's Sok- like 23 minutes a week kevin it's not that bad a, kevin you should watch these show. you should watch mushoku tensei you should watch takto p you should watch blue period you should watch miroko Ch- how the fuck do you Miyako-chan. I can't remember what her name was now. It was a hard to pronounce name. It um, is. Oh yeah, there's the Doku Kobo show of the Twitter manga, uh, Senpai ga Uzai Kohai no Hanashi. That shit's great. I- and uh, I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it yet. But the director, the staff, it's all classic Doku Kobo, like Yo, like Yuri Yuri. Uh, new game. It's the yes. good shit, right? Oh, I'll it's get on that. Stuff. I'll get on you that. You should watch it. It's fucking great. I'll watch I, that. I mean, I, I'll watch that alone. I mean, the mm. manga's great, but the anime is also going to be like 100%. There's no doubt in my mind it'll be good. What about the other Dokakobo show, Selection Project? Is that any good? Oh, I, I haven't watched it yet. I yeah, haven't watched it. That's an original. It's like an idol thing. It I, is I an idol thing. So, yeah. so, so I'll it, was watch cra- it. it was handcrafted for me. I don't know about you guys. No, I'll def- I mean, I'll watch anything Dokakobo, which is not actually true, but I do. I do like them a lot. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, well, it's like, it's been 42 minutes. We've, we've had a good run. I mean, do you guys, I, I need to go to the toilet. So I, I think we should probably like fucking wrap this up now, unless you guys have anything in particular you want to no, say. No, not really. No. All that we're going to do is watch more. Well, me and Kevin are going to no watch more, other more shows. stuff. I mean, there's, there's, one, there's only one film. <laughs> there's one thing I can talk about, but no one's seen it. Rusting 20 minutes of it. So it's like, might as well talk about it in a different time. I mean, there is a really good scene that we could talk <laughs> about, called, but you're right. Called, no, 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 no. It's Jose, but no one's seen it. So fuck it. Do, do Tune it in next time I love Jose. Crippled, I love Crippled Girls. <laughs> I'm going to get to it. I didn't realize it's it was really subbed and online now. Yeah. Next time we'll talk about Jose. Oh. And yeah, there'll be more stuff talked about um watch me show watch me show yeah I, that one was i was I'll, actually I'll, I'll play i'll, I'll watch that because like literally everyone says it's good i'm like ah, okay all right i'll, I'll check it out the thing the best part about it is it about it is that it's good in so many different ways that it's always interesting here it appeals yeah it appeals like to so, like to everyone basically right it's it, it appeals to it, people it, who want more substance it appeals to uh people who uh you, you know what whatever the, what you're the, searching what thing. for honestly you can probably find it in mashoku tensei like i feel there's a there's just so much to talk about which i think is 
the greatness of it. <laughs> That's what I really like about things is when it's actually interesting to have a conversation about, which is why I don't like you guys had a pretty long conversation about Aquatope. When I watched of Aquatope, I didn't think there was shit to talk about, which is why it bored me. Like I, when I watch things, I want to be, I want my brain to be put to use to some degree. And I mean, it just didn't do it for me. And it's not like Aquatope is worse than other offend, like a bigger offender than others. Cause it's like, I also watched, uh, the assassin isekai this season uh the one meme isekai with the super long title i think i tried to memorize it but i but i think i failed it was like shin no nakama janai to yusha no party wo oitsurate mode <laughs> and then like and then there's like there's like 10 more words i, I don't remember <laughs> but it was fucking boring as shit there was nothing interesting going on in that but uh mishoku tensei 100 interesting and at least at least five times a day, I jerk off to Roxy and uh, <clears throat> Eris, so you should watch it. I'm sold. Anyway, I think yeah, well, I think we'll wrap it up there. I just want to say, <laughs> I just want to say, uh-huh. and for the if this does end up on Anime Ross, which I think it passes the bar. Depends. You know, <laughs> you're about to just bleep out something. I, there fine. is some no, stuff. No, don't, <laughs> no, don't censor me. No, no, no. It, it'll be funny. It's funnier than people are like. What do you say? As just one part, I think maybe we'll censor. I don't know. What the KKK? Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we'll see. I'll, I'll, maybe I won't. It depends how I'm feeling when I'm editing Uncensored it. up on any fix. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's the only way I'll send you my audio. Okay. Okay. But I just wanted to say um, that for the time being. I, I've kind of got burnt out with making YouTube, well, analysis content, I guess. So for now, I'm kind of hoping that I can get these two people, Glenn and Kevin, to do a podcast on my channel. That was my goal. Hopefully, they, <sighs> hopefully they'll agree to this. And if they don't, I'll, do, I'll find some other people. But I don't know any other people, so hopefully they agree to it. And yeah, that's all I have to say. But I... Mat- matinee. Yeah. Bye for now, guys. Oh, no.